Hello, everyone. My guest today is Preetam Nath. He is a problem solver and entrepreneur from the heart. He's a chilled out guy at a party who will talk about living a good life and building a great business. That business is called superlemon.xyz. Preetam, you ready to take us to the top? Let's do it. All right. What is Superlemon and how do you guys make money? Uh, Superlemon is a WhatsApp plugin for Shopify stores. It just does two things. It adds a chat button to your store so your customers can contact you via WhatsApp. And it lets you send messages to your customers uh, regarding their order, abandoned cart, uh, tracking information, again, via WhatsApp. Uh, we charge a simple monthly subscription fee, and we also charge per message for the automated messages. That's basically it. So uh, break down, what was revenue last month? Uh, this month, we have closed. Uh, we are about to close that. We just crossed $29,000. Last month was 25500 and where were you exactly a year ago in terms of revenue? Uh, so a year ago was July 2019, and we had just crossed $2,000 or 2500 So you've gone from 2500 bucks a month in revenue to almost $30,000 a month in revenue in a period of 12 months. Yes. Incredible. It's all SaaS? Uh, so our revenue is split into two components, uh, the $10 monthly subscription fee. And then the message cost uh, that merchants pay for, we make a double digit margin on the messages because we have to pay WhatsApp uh, for every message too. It's like an SMS model, but the channel is WhatsApp in this case. Uh, so our revenue is equally split. 50% is just from the subscription fee and 50% is from messages. So just to be clear, the, so who do you pay to access the WhatsApp API to essentially facilitate sending the messages? Uh, so you, you have to pay WhatsApp a fee, but you don't directly work with WhatsApp. You work with one of their service providers. For example, Twilio is a service provider. So WhatsApp has a message fee, which is fixed. So if I have to send a message to India, it's a fixed rate. It's another, it's a different rate if I have to send it to a US number. And then a service like Twilio charges a small fee on top of it, like uh, $0.005 per message. Uh, whatever we make after that is our profit. Do you always just take total costs and double it, or do you charge a fit flax, a flat fixed fee to your customers? Uh, so our our uh, we also charge customers based on the country uh, to which they are sending messages, and we have a formula which makes sure that we make between around twenty to twenty five percent of profit at the end of everything for Amazing. the messages. Now, Preetam, have you done this bootstrapped or did you raise capital? Uh, bootstrapped. Wow! And how many people are on the team? It's just me and my co-founder's uncle, two of us. Did, are you guys, do you love each other? Do you just split it 50-50 down the middle? <laughs> yeah, that, that was the plan. I mean, the plan was to make $3,000 a month and have a good, like, chill life, but it just ended up at $30,000. Uh, totally unexpected. We just kept focusing on building product and making it better for customers. Uh, this outcome was not expected. Well, I like to say, like, you, you can't just say you accidentally hit 30K a month. Otherwise, you don't, you don't deserve it. You have to understand what you did to earn it because that's how you then double it and triple it. So, you know, I understand you're being humble, but, but help me understand it. I mean, how did you go and add, you know, well, first off, how many customers are using it? Uh, so we have 20,000 users out of which 1,700 are paying. Uh, so if I, I watch a so show, so I know the next question, the ARPU is $17. Uh, and, uh, but our churn rate is high. It, you you listen to the show, you're a fan? Uh, I, I love the show because I don't find another show where you just take a business and break it down like this. <laughs> uh, it's exciting to look at businesses in a breakdown format where I can know what's really happening. Because uh, I can always hear the founder's vision and what they want to do in their life and all that. But I want to see business metrics. I want to see business stories. I love that. Well, you and I are the same then. So 20,000 users, you've converted 1,700 to paid uh, how did you get the 20,000 users? 100% uh, of our users are from the Shopify app store. Uh, when we launched, uh, we had a few people who had already made it big in Shopify who mentored us, who told us how to do distribution right. And to do distribution right, you have to basically be the best at customer support. So if you, if you look at our app listing, we are five-star rated at, with 500 plus reviews, which gives us a really good ranking in the app store. Uh, we wanted to rank for only one keyword, WhatsApp. So for the longest time, until at least last month, we were showing up first if you, so, sure, if you searched for WhatsApp. And we got all our users from there. Uh, I, we do know that around 20% of users come from our chat widget on Merchant's websites, which has a Powered by Superlemon. 20% uh, uh, people come to the listing page, but we lose them after that. We don't know how many actually sign up and pay. Uh, but yeah, I would say that 
100% of our customers are from the Shopify app store. How did you incentivize? Okay, so one of your earlier customers that came on, they, they used you, they had a great experience you have to like ask people to go leave a review. It's not something organic people think to go do, especially a good review. Cause most people, if they hate you, they go, you know, piss on you all over your, you know, app exchange <laughs> listing. So, so what did you do to, what did you just sort of push people that had a good experience to go leave a review? Uh, so there are two ways. One is uh, when somebody reaches out to us, we make sure we give the best, best possible customer support. Like I treat them the way I would want to be treated if I was VIP at a party. Uh, and it just turned out that I'm doing it for a $10 product, but I would do it for a hundred, a thousand dollar product too. And this formula works. Uh, and the second thing is when customers have reached a certain milestone inside the app, for example, they have gained, they made thousand dollars plus using our app, recovered thousand dollars plus cards in a month. Uh, we have set, set up automated triggers which send emails saying your experience has been great. If you have some feedback, share it with us, but we would love it if you write a review for us on the Shopify app store. Uh, so that's when we see really long form, authentic reviews come out. Uh, and the other ones are the shorter support was great. The app is looking really good. I set it up very easily. Those kind of reviews. Okay. I'm in the Shopify app store. I imagine the number of new users you get from Shopify will drastically increase if you move from the number two position, which you're in right now to number one. The problem is the number one spot is by this company called Push Daddy, which looks like they don't even compete directly with you. Is that accurate? Uh, yeah, they have a chat button. Uh, that's it. Yeah. So yeah. So you're focused on a specific use case, e-commerce brands that, that want to solve abandoned carts using WhatsApp messages. They do not have that same target. Yeah, they don't. Uh, but again, uh, I would, I would be lying if I say that what we have built so far cannot be replicated by others. So our strategy for the last few months and going forward is to build things that competitors cannot copy or build very easily. Uh, and we are working with WhatsApp partners closely to build something like that, uh, but it's not yet ready. It will be unveiled in the next one or two months. How do you make sure you stay above the people right behind you? Uh, soft push, soft pulse infotech. They have 472 reviews. You have 568. You have a 5.0 rating there at 4.7. Yeah. So when we started uh, 14, 15 months ago, they were at 350 reviews. So we're not worried about them. We're only worried about people like Push Daddy who game the Shopify app store review system to get, I don't know how many do they have, 1,200 reviews in three 1, months? 1,340. What did they do to game it? Yeah. Uh, basically, pop up spam your user when you install the app after you activate it saying, please leave a, rev leave a review. We are completely free. We don't charge anything. Uh, there are a lot of apps that are doing this and Shopify app developers, including myself and my friends, we are pushing the Shopify team to address this because you don't want uh, low quality apps to flood the system ecosystem because genuine developers will feel like, why am I playing by the rules? Or merchants will have a terrible experience and therefore leave the platform. So I know that it's a transitory problem, but as of today, it's a little pest. If I just installed a new platform like Push Daddy, and the first thing I saw was go leave an app on the on like a review, I'd go, well, I don't even know the tool yet. I'm just going to leave a one star review, so you'll leave me alone. Why don't why doesn't their rating take a hit because they're so aggressive? Uh, so uh, they're not the only ones who do this, and I I was very curious at first, but I've arrived at the the law of 4.8. It turns out if you just push people to write a review right after they've activated the app, the average rating for such apps is around 4.8, and I don't know why. But that seems to be, there are one star reviews, but not enough of them. Interesting. Interesting. So you are not going to take that strategy. You're going to stick with your own strategy, work with Shopify to try and help them like clamp down on the stuff. And, and you're happy with where you're at right now, right? Yes, yes, absolutely. How many leads per month do you get from Shop this placement, Shopify App Exchange? Four to 5,000. Wow. Okay. And how many do you convert to paid? Uh, around 7.5% installs a month uh, become paid. Uh, we have around 500 to 600 monthly trials initiated uh, and 50% of uh, trials become uh, paid. Uh, so 7.5% is on 4,000 install space. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So really, you, you've got 10% converting to a trial and 50% of trials to paid. So you're adding between 200 and 300 new customers per month. Yep. Fascinating. Um, Interesting. This is, this I mean, is incredible. That's the good part. Uh, SMB has a lot of churn, so we do lose a lot of customers also. It's just the nature of businesses uh, at the low end, uh, dropshipping businesses or small e-commerce brands 
which may not survive beyond the first few months. They just didn't take off. Uh, so SMB churn is high. What's your churn? Uh, it's just under 10% month on month at a user level, uh, at a paying user level. We don't count the free users in this. So you'll churn like 120% to your base annually. So you really have to have an engine to add a new top of funnel to keep the thing going. Exactly. Yeah. Very cool. What a cool spot. So now do you spend any money on customer acquisition cost or no? Zero. Yeah. So it's zero. just placement in the app store. How cool. So what's next? How do you grow the business? Um, you go up market. Uh, we have identified what bigger brands, people who want, would want to pay hundreds of dollars, who are actually sending thousands of messages a month through our platform, want. Uh, and we know the unique problems that they want to solve, uh, which is customer support using a tool for WhatsApp or you know, sending more customized messages or sending uh, automated messages from their own brand's number, own verified WhatsApp numbers. Uh, so we're going to go up market and uh, serve these customers next. I mean, a lot of people, the, the, so like your price, you just have two price points, right? The, the, alt, the high, most I can pay you is 10 bucks per month plus the cost of the message, which comes out to about 17 bucks a month per average paid customer. But like one of the things you can do is say, listen, it's 10 bucks a month and you can send up to a max of a thousand messages a month. And then you have to go to the enterprise plan, which is a hundred bucks a month where you can go up to 10,000 messages per month. So you can segment based off that utility metric. Is that sort of the next step for you? Yeah, that is. Uh, we have really not pushed pricing. Uh, we just focused on being cost leader. And uh, we know that that's a huge level that we have to experiment with, tiered pricing, especially for larger customers. What a fun story, Preetam. Let's wrap up here with the famous five. Number one, favorite business book? Uh, the Mom Test. I read that right before uh, we managed to nail down this idea. Because before this, I was building things people didn't want. And the Mom Test said, you know, Custom, uh, your friends' feedback is bullshit. Don't listen to them. Uh, and uh, get real feedback. Get their money. So <laughs> Mom Test is my recommended book, favorite business book. Number two, is there a CEO you're following or studying? As of now, no. Number three, what's your favorite online tool for building the company? Figma. I spend so much time there every day. Yep, I love Figma. Number four, how many hours of sleep do you get every night? Seven, but I want eight. <laughs> and what's your situation? Married, single kids? Uh, I have a girlfriend, no kids. Okay, and how old are you? 26. 26. Last question. What's something you wish you knew when you were 20? Don't obsess about unicorns. Start a profitable business. <laughs> Guys, profits are good. Superlemon.xyz, number two in the Shopify app exchange when you search WhatsApp. They help e-commerce brands do cart abandonment recovery via WhatsApp messages. They have now over $30,000 a month in revenue up from just two grand a month just a year ago. So incredible growth. They do have high churn because a low price point, but they're bootstrapped and profitable with just two people on the team. Again, serving 1,700 customers. They get four to 5,000 new leads each month from Shopify, convert 10% to free trials and about 50% of the free trials convert to paid. It's a machine pre Tom, thanks for taking us to the top. Thank you. It was lovely having uh, being in your show. One more thing before you go. We have a brand new show every Thursday at 1 p.m. Central. It's called Shark Tank for SaaS. We call it Deal or Bust. One founder comes on, three hungry buyers, they try and do a deal live and the founder shares back-end dashboards, their expenses, their revenue, ARPU, CAC, LTV, you name it, they share it. And the buyers try and make a deal live. It is fun to watch every Thursday, 1 p.m. Central. Additionally, remember, these recorded founder interviews go live. We release them here on YouTube every day at 2 p.m. Central. To make sure you don't miss any of that, make sure you click the subscribe button below here on YouTube, the big red button, and then click the little bell notification notification to make sure you get notifications when we do go live. I wouldn't want you to miss breaking news in the SaaS world, whether it's an acquisition, a big fundraise, a big sale, a big profitability statement, or something else. I don't want you to miss it. Additionally, if you want to take this conversation deeper and further, we have by far the largest private Slack community for B2B SaaS founders. You want to get in there. We've probably talked about your tool if you're running a company or your firm if you're investing. You can go in there and quickly search and see what people are saying. Sign up for that at nathanlacka.com forward slash slack. In the meantime, I'm hanging out with you here on YouTube. I'll be in the comments for the next 30 minutes. Feel free to let me know what you thought about this episode. And if you enjoyed it, click the thumbs up. We get a lot of haters that are mad at how aggressive I am on these shows, but I do it so that we can all learn. We have to counter those people. We got to push them away. Click the thumbs up below to counter them and know that I appreciate your guys' support. All right, I'll be in the comments. See ya.